The Secret Service turns on the heat. The government men will finally win out, but at a cost of many lives. Will Jack Holt come through? He's posed as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. While he and his partner, Kay Drew, are in the gangster headquarters, they're discovered. Nothing to worry about. They don't suspect a thing. Blackie was a cinch. So it's the old double cross, is it? I should have known better than trust at all. So what? So we're going down below and have a good old-fashioned powwow. Get going. And no funny stuff. All right, down you go. I'll signal them to meet you. I told you to watch him. See if they're both dead. Tony, you come with me. So you're the cause of all this, huh? Why blame me? Nick and Blackie had a fight, that's all. And they did a header over the cliff. Uh, you're a cool one. Fighting over you, I suppose. Nobody else, mister. The saps. Are they searching for him? Yeah. This is a fine kettle of fish. They're dead, of course. Not Nick. He's got more lives than a cat. He's right, Baldwin. And I'm gonna need them all. Hitched to a woman like that. See there? What did I tell you? That's the kind of a wife to have. She's gonna take a walkout powder with Blackie. I have a good mind to throw you off this cliff. Go on, try it. I dig. Oh, well, cut it out. There he is, poor old Blackie. He's as dead as a mackerel. Oh, we do. Let him alone. Dalton will tell us how to handle it. Let him do it. Well, at least we can pick him up. Nick, you're in a jam. We might have to explain Blackie's death to the big boss. Well, it explains itself. He started to break up my home, and I caught him at it. He tried to make a getaway and fell off the cliff. Why, well, it's an accident, that's all. Accident, my eye. You hit him on the button and knocked him over. Oh, I've got a lot of things to tell when I get away. From now on, you're staying in your cabin. Take her down, Tony. You better take a tight hold, too, Tony. Don't fall for that line of hers. Remember what happened to Blackie. The LN calling station R49. The LN calling station R49. Come in, R49. Come in, VLN. Blackie had an accident. Fell over a cliff. He's dead. What'll we do? If he's dead, bury him, of course, and forget it. I'm not interested in that. What about the job? Work all finished and ready for delivery. What are your orders? Bring it to the usual place. Everything quiet out there? It is now. The girl tried to get away, but Farrell stopped her. He's plenty tough. Watch out she doesn't find out too much. Don't worry, boss. I'm keeping a close watch over her. Anything else? That is all. Frank, I have to go into town. See that a steady watch is kept over that girl's cabin. Well, now to C7, get the stuff and start on my way. We'll soon be rich, old man. The sooner the quicker is my motto. Oh, boy. Twenty got a minute. Valden's on his way for the bills. Where are the plate? I'm sure they're in there someplace, because Valden says he's going to run another batch from them. Good, I'll grab them then. That's all the government cares about. They'll handle this runoff. In the meantime... Valden's coming! If he finds you here... No, oh, but this is the only way out. That door's locked. Got everything there? Everything you ordered. Fine. Where's that suitcase I left here? I don't know anything about any suitcase. You didn't bring it here. I didn't bring it here. Oh, I remember. I put it in there myself.
Good-looking money, Severin. You're a whiz. Now get busy on that other job, the fives and tens. You don't want to repeat the little ritual that made you consent to do our first job. I know I'm helpless. I'll do as you say. I thought he'd find you sure. Well, he didn't, so he can live a little longer. I'll be back later. I gotta find out how Valden leaves this place. Spike has his instructions, and you're taking orders from him until I get back. See that nobody follows me. Don't worry, nobody will get by me. Where do you think you're going, Farrell? Well, no place in particular, just taking my daily exercise. Well, you'll have to try someplace else. You can't go beyond this point. It's taboo. Okay, okay, I'll go back to camp. I don't want to break any rules. But if I did want to go down there, you'd never stop me. And I'm saying I would. You may be tough to those other guys, but I think I'm tougher. Well, well, so you want to make an issue out of it, eh? Well, how's this for a starter? Ooh. Why do I take my coat off? Oh, so you want to play rough, huh? Okay. Over here, Tony. Well, Tony, you seeing, believing? You win, Farrell. I guess I ain't as tough as I thought. Wrong again. I was a little tougher than you thought. No hard feelings. All right. I've got him busy on your next order already. Good. Sit down and give me the details of that trouble last night. What's the lowdown on Blackie? Baldwin just arrived with a load of it. I hope it's as good as the last. It's a cinch. The boss is looking it over now. So no real harm was done except Blackie got his full neck broken. That woman will disrupt everything. Get rid of her. I don't dare turn her loose now. I didn't say turn her loose. I said get rid of her. Isn't that clear enough? Yes, yes, sure. Sure, anything you say. What's the matter with Farrell? Too good to eat with us? Oh, he said he wasn't hungry. I think he's love sick and sore because he can't see that wife of his. He wanted to take a tray over to her. Got sore when I let Carew have the job. So you decided to feed me, huh? I'm taking no credit. Your sap husband sent it over. Why, well, I'd let you starve to death for what happened to my pal Blackie. Well, that's just dandy. Where's your chivalry? I ain't got none where you're concerned.
Well? Boy, she didn't even thank me. She bawled me out. I'll say it for her. Thanks. Keep it. Carew at last! Ah! Well, I just took her a chow. She's a pretty one at that. Took you long enough to get here. Don't worry. I don't forget what happened to Blackie. The funny thing is, that name Farrell don't fit in my memory. Come on, fellas. Clear up the tape. Not me. It's my night off. Well, come on. The rest of you get busy here. Okay. Haven't you got it yet? Not yet, but I'll get it. Give it to me. You're an engraver, not a locksmith. What's the matter? Don't you like our food? No, I feed my dog better than that. Well, I can't say that I blame you. I've had lots better myself. Don't take it away. I might get hungry later. Nothing doing. Hey, why change your mind so sudden? Well, leave the bread anyway. A message, huh? I wondered why Farrell made such a fuss about getting this chow over to you. Let me see it. No. Remember what I told you. Stall as long as you can to give Kay time to get to that radio. Take this in case you need it. I'll give him a good chase. All right. Hey, that shot sounded like it came from the girl's cabin. Crew sneaked over there and the girl got his gun away from him. The cabin's quiet enough. There it is again. It came from the mine. Who fired those shots? I did. What happened? Well, I came in here to get severance dishes. When I turned my back, he hit me over the head of the wrench. Where is he? He went in there. The fool can't get away. We'll drag him out. Come on. separate. You boys take that tunnel, Nick. You take this one. Calling headquarters 6X241. Come in. Headquarters 6X241 answering. Come in. This is operative B12 calling from Seco Hills. Farrell and I are on the spot. Need help. Listen closely. Place hard to find. I'll give you the best directions I can. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This thing are running around underground. If we don't look out, we'll both be lost. Oh, come on, Nick. We've got to get him. If we don't, the boss will murder us. All right. Wait on. I'm going to murder you for what you did to me. No, Nick. We need him. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get him out. You sent for me, sir? Yes. Get your men and start for the Seco Hills at once. These are the best directions operator B-12 will give us. I'll have cars waiting in front. Get going. Yes, sir. Give me the garage. We'll never make it before daylight. Keep your foot to the floor and we'll make it. It's not as far as you think. Radio. Not me. Ballin ain't here. Ah, oh, pipe down. If he'd gotten away, Ballin would have murdered us. What's the difference? You'll all hang anyhow. Quiet. I'd hate to muss up those pretty hands of yours. Farrell, I got your number. Well, if you have, give me a ring sometime. Read this, Spike. A message he smuggled to his wife. Ah. Pretty smart for a cop. A copper? Now I remember. He's Jack Holt, a federal dick. He run me ragged. What? Well, there won't be any running from now on. Don't reach for it, or I'll let you have it. Severance, you're coming with me. Get out.
Fitters? Have they a plan to catch her? And what about Crimp? He's planned a double cross, and someone's going to suffer. See it all in Menaced by Fate, next smashing episode of Holt of the Secret Service.